Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to investigate a user account in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Well, identify user accounts with the most active alerts, which can be displayed on the dashboard as users at risk. And then we have to investigate cases of potentially compromised credentials or pivot on the associated user account when investigating an alert or device to identify possible lateral movement between devices with that user account. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I am logged on to the portal. So we can find the user account information in the following ways. We can see it on the dashboard. We can see it under the alert queue or we can see it on the device details page. So if I go to incidents, I click on the incident, multi-stage incident rather than going through that and it gives me the information so device I can click on the device here which is associated with that incident so this is the complete information about that device now a clickable user account link is available in these views so if you scroll down right one logged on user this is a clickable user account which so if I click on here it will show me the information if you select that link it will take you to the user account details page where more details about the user account are displayed so when you investigate a user account entity you will see user account details and logged on devices role log on type and other details right like last seen lateral movement paths devices it is, it is associated how this is observed in this organization what are the matched files, accounts, locations, the contact manager, set of the user, etc. It will also give you the details. So if you like we have device details here, you click on uh, the user which is currently logged on like I am logged on there, right? So why? Oh here. This is the, if you click here, administrator one is currently logged on. I am the one. So this is the local admin account. If you click on here, it will give you. It will, as I showed you, it will give me the SAM name, set, number of devices the user is logged on to, when was, when the user was first and last seen, the associated role, last seen, the first seen, right? And if you will see the overview, it will show you the incident details and the list of devices the user has logged on to, like I am seeing here. Okay, the alert, if you see the incidents and alerts, or if you, I'm sorry, if you go back here, if you click on here on the user, Active alert. If you click on this, this is also clickable. You see there are alert alerts associated with this user account, right? And this will list. This list is the filtered view of the alert queue and shows alerts where the user context is the selected user account. So you can search n number of alerts or all the alerts on the alerts tab, which is on the left. But if you are clicking on the link that I just showed you on this device corresponding after going through the user details and then clicking on the alerts that are subsequently filtered for these user you will see the date when the last activity was detected a short description of the alert the device associated with the alert the alerts severity the alert status in the queue and who is assigned the alert same way if you click on the observed in the organization tab it will allow you to specify a date ranged to see a list of devices where this user was observed logged on to the most frequent the least frequent logged on user account which shows each of these devices and total observed users on each device selecting an item on the observed in organization table will expand the item revealing more details right so most frequent device device name location group lateral movements if you click on device it will show you the more details about that device in particular. 
all right so you see this now i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day